Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. my heart, Lord Jesus. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Simon's mother, mother-in-law, lay sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached, grasped her hand, and helped her up. Then the fever left her, and she waited on them. When it was evening, after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. The whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases, and he drove out many demons, not permitting them to speak because they knew him. Rising very early before dawn, he left, and went off to a, and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him, and on finding him said, Everyone is looking for you. He told them, Let us go on to the nearby villages, that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. So he went into their synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. My name is Father Augustine Lieb, T-O-R. I'm a Franciscan from St. Andrews, just south of TCU. Some of you might know me, most of you probably don't. If you've ever heard me preach before, you know it is my custom to preach on this. God is love, and you're made in the image and likeness of it. That's the basic gist of what you need to know to know what you need to do. Today in these scriptures, you hear a lot about suffering. You hear a lot about the trials and difficulties of following the Lord, being close to Him, and then what happens as He sends you forth. And the heart of God the Father, who is love, is most perfectly manifested in the crucifix. And as He tries to remind you of who you are, men of God, he reminds you that you are most perfectly in His image and likeness when your love is crucified as well. 